Welcome to the Kitchen Feel Good Breakfast Show, family. This is where we cook up something that's always delicious just for you. But this is the thing. It is always rare to say that we are living in historic times. And we as South Africans and the world, we can 100% say so. Because in 55 years, there has been a queen that has been able to break through to the top 10 of the Billboard 100 once again. She is someone who is making waves all over the world. And she is a global sensation. Listen, I'm telling you, she is none other than an entire trend to this nation and we call her a hit maker a name taker she is someone who is born to inspire her talent is fire I am talking about Tyler <laughs> Tyler welcome to Expresso thank you for having me of course gorgeous ah oh, listen Tyler I think that it is such a beautiful thing what is happening with you right now and I want to take it all the way to the beginning because we're all so proud of you but we know that there's a beginning yeah when did you realize that listen this is a musical gift and it's something I I need to explore. Yo, ever since I could remember, music was what I wanted to do. Mm. Like, I was that child that was singing for everyone, making shows, yes. like, putting on music, entering all the talent shows, competitions. Yes. And I just knew that music was my calling, mm. really. Like, I knew it was what I was going to spend my, the rest of my life doing. And, yeah, like, my last year of high school is when I actually started professionally getting into it. Oh, wow. And that's when I made Getting Late. Yeah. All of that started, so yeah. Oh, Tyler, so you were there when at eight years old, having your own renaissance there. Yes, yes. I had my own. Your world <laughs> I love yeah. that. But babe, I wanted to ask you, with you like also just like being all over the world, do you need like a backup singer? Because I can... Please, make... I was looking for one. Thank you. Please, so okay. you, you're free. I'm free. Perfect. Perfect. You'll tell me 2024. I'll send you the details. Thank you. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Tyler, we also know, like you mentioned, Getting Late, yeah. that was when you were just like breaking into the music mm -hmm. scene. Tell us about that song a little bit and also just where, where it came from, really. Yeah, that was my first song. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know that that was me. When people were like, I don't know, that's Tyler. I was like, guys, I've been here. Come on. For real. Yes. So it's my first song. Um, it's when I started experimenting with mixing pop and I'm a piano. Mm. And yeah, like I still I hold it close to my heart because it was my first little project yeah so yeah and now it's just getting better and better really. girl it's snowballing and it's beautiful to see and also please know there are a lot of us who also knew that you about getting late because yeah. I remember we had you on 5FM because mm. we're like this girl she is a talent <laughs> and now you yeah. genuinely just showed everybody exactly what you're all about but I want to ask you in terms of just like everything that's happening at the moment what does it feel like for you and are you taking it in I am taking it in. Mm -hmm. I have to remind myself literally every day that this is real. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's so exciting, you know, like everything that's happening, it's, I could only dream, mm -hmm. really, like breaking this, these records for South Africa. Girl. Like for Africa, we were literally making history, you know, with this song. So I'm just so happy that it's going this way, you know. Exactly. And Tali, do you understand now that you're mentioned in the same conversation as Miriam Makeba? And that you must again. Exactly. It's crazy. It's such a beautiful thing, babe. But I also want to do a little bit of a throwback, right? Because you used to be on TikTok, just posting covers, posting your own music. At that time, did you possibly, you know, see this coming in the way that it's come now? And also, were you like even just like a little bit like, ah, oh, but when's it gonna happen? Were you a bit impatient with your story? Definitely, because yo, oh, like. People don't know that I've been working, mm. like I've been, I'm a hard worker, like I've been grinding and releasing music and yeah. traveling and pushing my music and mm. me as an artist. So obviously everyone, everyone, every artist has those days where they're like, when is it going to happen, yes. you know? And honestly, I had so much confidence in water, mm. but I did not expect all of this to happen. Yeah. Like, especially so far, it's like Grammy nominations. Babes, you better like, know what's up. We have a queen in the house. <laughs> For real, like Grammy nominations, Billboard Hot 100, like yeah. all these things are just coming in. So. It's crazy, yeah. And I love it because I think you deserve it. I feel like you've just been, like you said, putting in the work. I remember when we were at the, your event, people were saying that you guys would get to the studio at 5 p.m., leave at 10 a.m. the next morning, and you were just putting in the work, girl. Like, hours and hours, really. But it's also because I love what I do. I enjoy mm. making music. Like, it's so satisfying going into the studio at night or the evening and then watching the sunrise as I'm still recording. Yes. Like, I just love that, you know. Yeah, so. and I'm so glad that it speaks to your soul because yeah. for us, you give us so much of your soul. So I feel like you deserve that. But Thank speak you. to us also about that Grammy nomination, honey. I know that uh, you told it was Jennifer Hudson. You went, you went, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> when it 
came I'm telling you. I even forgot I did this. When <laughs> the South African people were tweeting that, I was like, hey, yes, look at me. <laughs> because, I mean, I'm just being myself, really. Like, yes. People overseas, they want to see something real yeah. and new. So I would never just go there and now become something else you know yeah. like i'm a girl from johannesburg south africa and i'm gonna be a girl from johannesburg south africa wherever i go no tyler the beautiful thing is the fact that you are not just someone who has pipes for days honey you also have so many brains because mining and engineering what do you mean you were there no i wasn't there but, i was almost there okay almost within yes. because my parents were like study like you have to study this can be a side thing Music isn't like a career. Mm. So then my next plan was getting something that was gonna pay me. Yeah. You know, because if I was gonna do something I wasn't gonna enjoy, I might as well get paid. Yes. So then mining engineering was what I was almost getting into, but I managed to convince my parents, like, Aww. please just give me a gap year. Yeah. Because I was also a year younger. I ended school a year younger. Oh, amazing. So they were like, okay, we'll give you a year. Mm -hmm. And I'm still on my gap year till this <laughs> day. Till this day, I love it. Still on that gap year. This is the kind of gap year we like with yeah. Grammys and yeah. Billboard Hot 100. I love mm -hmm. it. But Tyler, also just talking about you and, of course, your journey, you know what I mean? I feel like there's so many different things that have happened. What would you say is the highlight for you at the moment? Oh, there's so many highlights, like, yo, but I would have to say the nomination. Because yes. that's, like, such a huge accolade that I never expected mm. so early. And just the success of Water also, it's beautiful, you know? Yeah, and girl, we are so excited to just continue watch you rise, watching you rise, rather. But please do not go anywhere, Expresso family. We still have Tyler in the studio, and we are going to be getting into some more chats also. She's going to teach me how to do something, okay? Do not go anywhere. You're on your feel-good breakfast show.